one of the most important undertakings in the modern Russian defense sector, the manufacturing of the 2160M strategic bombers has slowed down significantly. These aircraft, known poetically as the White Swan, originally represented Soviet engineering strength and are still an important component of Russia's nuclear deterrence. However, in recent years, the rate of manufacture and upgrading has slipped significantly behind official plans, with no news of new flights or deliveries. The issue appears to be much more concerning, given the growing worldwide attention paid to strategic aviation. Both the United States and China are developing their next-generation bombers, the B-21 Raider and the H-20, respectively. In this context, the quiet surrounding Russia's White Swan project poses technical, strategic, and political concerns. In 2020, then-Deputy Defense Minister Alexei Krivoruchko officially stated that the Russian military would receive at least 10 160M bombers by 2027. Earlier in 2015, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu announced the beginning of a major upgrade program for the strategic bomber fleet. The concept called for the Tu-160 to be reborn into a new generation of aircraft, complete with enhanced communication systems, radar, electronic warfare suites, and modern avionics, rather than just upgraded. The latest variant, the T-2160M2, was designed to exemplify this goal. It had sophisticated onboard computers, new radar and electronic warfare systems, and improved targeting capability. In theory, these modifications would significantly increase the bomber's range, accuracy, and survivability against current air defenses. Reality, however, proved to be far less remarkable. The last serial 2160 m 2 flew in 2022, and the project has subsequently faded from public notice. There are no new flying tests, production reports, or photographs from the Kazan Aviation Plant. The quiet has sparked speculation that major production issues are stalling progress. The difficulty stems from the 2160's Soviet heritage. The bomber's manufacture was originally based on the 1980s enormous industrial network, with parts supplied by dozens of specialist companies across the Soviet Union. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union, many of these facilities were decommissioned or converted to civilian manufacture, leaving huge supply chain gaps. Restarting production from scratch has been quite challenging. The Kazan Aviation Plant, in charge of assembly, and Tupolev PJSC, which controls the program, had to reconstruct technical data, repair tooling, and develop replacements for hundreds of components formerly manufactured in other Soviet republics. Western sanctions made things even more difficult. Since 2022, several high-tech materials and electrical systems used in aviation have been prohibited from export to Russia. Even projects that relied minimally on imports have suffered. The White Swan, it appears, has become a victim of structural dependency. Aside from technical challenges, Russia's defense sector is dealing with an overload of commitments and a skills deficit. The Kazan Aviation Plant is now working on several large-scale projects, including the upgrade of the Tu-22M3 and preparations for the manufacturing of the next-generation PAC-DA bomber. However, the plant faces resource constraints. The plant has partially mobilized its workers, and supply chain issues have further hindered output. Despite state financing and defense mandates, growth is slow and inconsistent. Airframes can be developed, but they cannot fly without engines, which is one of the most significant obstacles. Production of NK-32 engines, which power strategic bombers, was terminated in 1991. Efforts to restart production began in 2016, when it became evident that modernizing the Tu-160 would require a new propulsion system. The work was handed to the Kuznetsov Design Bureau in Samara, which initiated a program to create the NK-32-02, an improved and more efficient version of the original. In 2018, the Ministry of Defense announced intentions to purchase 22 NK-3202 engines for new aircraft produced in Kazan.
it appeared that the project was finally progressing. However, progress since then has been unclear. There have been no verifiable reports that the engines have entered full-scale manufacture or are being shipped for installation. Without the NK3202, the T160M and future programs would be effectively grounded. The same engine is slated to power the forthcoming PAC-DA stealth bomber. Without it, Russia's entire long-term aviation strategy may stall for the next decade or more. The White Swan production slowdown has far-reaching repercussions for aviation. Russia's nuclear triad includes strategic bombers, land-based intercontinental missiles, and ballistic missile submarines. If the air-based component falls behind, the credibility of the deterrent balance suffers. Furthermore, the lack of modern aircraft hinders pilot training and testing of next-generation weaponry systems. The remaining 2160s built during the Soviet era require ongoing maintenance and upgrade. However, they are aged, and without replacements, the fleet will surely diminish, a major concern for national security planners. The uncertain destiny of Russia's next-generation stealth bomber, the PAC-DA, looms over the 2160M's issues. This flying wing design aims to provide radar invisibility and increased range, presenting it as a competitor to the U.S. B-21 Raider. However, similar to the NK-3202 engine, the PAC-DA project remains shrouded in secrecy. Official information is nearly non-existent. What is known is that the new bomber will use the same NK-3202 engines, which means that any delay in engine manufacturing will also halt the building of PAC-DA. This creates a vicious cycle. Without the engine, the new bomber cannot be built, and without the bomber, there is no clear future for Russia's long-range aircraft. The issues with the 2160M are not specific to this aircraft. They highlight a larger systemic flaw in Russia's defense industry, a breach in technological continuity. The Soviet industrial model was based on deep specialization and tight integration, with each facility playing a distinct role in a huge supply chain. After 1991, the system disintegrated. Many factories closed, leaving behind specialized skills, documentation, and production culture. Rebuilding that ecology has proved far more difficult than expected. Despite political support and governmental financing, development is modest. A bomber that previously took months to build today takes years, and the labor of dozens of subcontractors. Despite these shortcomings, the Tu-160M program is still one of the most ambitious projects in modern Russian aviation. It is more than just an attempt to resuscitate a Soviet legend. It is a test of whether modern Russia can attain technological dominance in the most demanding industrial sphere of all. If successful, the Tu-160M might be a valuable strategic asset capable of transporting new hypersonic weaponry and operating over long distances. But if engine production, supply chain interruptions, and industrial overburden continue, the white swan may become a symbol of squandered opportunity rather than national pride. The fate of the 2160M and related programs is still unknown. The Kazan Aviation Plant is still modernizing existing airframes, but no new aircraft have been publicly delivered. By 2027, the 2020 objective of 10 bombers becomes increasingly unachievable. The main concern is whether there will be sufficient political will and financial resources to complete the project. The White Swan is more than just an airplane. It is a litmus test for Russia's capacity to sustain sophisticated, high-technology manufacture outside of global supply lines. In conclusion, the hush surrounding the 2160M is more than just a lack of news. It reflects deeper systemic issues. The White Swan, once a symbol of engineering prowess and national pride, has evolved into a symbol of systemic strain, including labor shortages, technological reliance, and industrial overload. If Russia can overcome these obstacles, the 2160M may possibly soar again, 
demonstrating that the country still has the industrial and technological strength to support its strategic aspirations. However, if the initiative remains grounded, it will serve as a reminder that even the greatest achievements of the past must be constantly refreshed, technologically, organizationally, and philosophically, in order to have a future. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.